What is up heroes, it's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we learned a little bit more about, well, our situation going on, and we were going to take this elevator down. However, it abruptly stopped, and we are now faced with the prospect of jumping down here, which I don't think is going to turn out too well, but it seems it's all we have available. A quick little disclaimer, it's been a few days since I last played, and I've gotten a little bit distracted, so my memory may be a little bit foggy, but please bear with me. As we fall to our death. I believe we were on our way to Omicron. And our boy Simon. Our machine Simon? Our hybrid, our cyborg Simon has definitely seen better days. Oh my. Well, this is certainly a change. So before the, the WoW, I believe, it was like this blackish gunk that was hooked up to all the robots and, and the machines and the electricity and all that stuff. But now, this is much more reddish, much more organic almost. What is all that sound? Okay, so there is some structure gel. What, happened, what are we gonna find if we go in here? So we can go this way, or we can head on over here. I think I'm going to head over here for the moment. I don't want to miss anything, but... It seems like we won't be able to progress here. So naturally, I want to explore this before trying to go anywhere else. Alright, you can run with that button. Lovely. What happens if we jump out here? Will we find anything? No? Doesn't seem so. All right. Well, that's uh, fair enough. Ooh, what about over here, though? On the platform over in this direction. Looks like we can see inside here, but not really anything we can do. I remember getting out of the shuttle and barely making it through that whole ordeal. What is this? Critical system failure? We don't really know what system, though, at the moment. And we've been damaged in the past, so we have this sort of blurry effect going on at the moment, which, you know, I, I wish would go away after some time. Even if the di- Oh my god. We are running. What the heck just happened? What? Excuse me? What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? Did we die? Game, at least tell me if I died. Please? Did I get captured? Am I now imprisoned by these monsters? What's going on? The screen is just black. Don't move. It's okay. What? It's over now. Relax. Ashley? What are you doing here? Hey, you know, like couples do. We're not... You don't want me? Yes, of course. You... What happened? You fell in love? What is going on? Oh my goodness. That was something else. So we had like blown back and somewhat integrated with this gunk, this wow mess. And maybe that was a glimpse of what the experience is like when you're actually hooked up to it. It sort of puts you in an arc of sorts based on its knowledge of you, its scan of you to try to make you happy, but it's somewhat surreal and it's artificial. But maybe if you want to believe it's real, it feels real. There's now a fire out over there. 
And the shuttle is still there. Wow. But yeah, all of a sudden I heard that noise. I saw that thing run down the stairs and I was like, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here ASAP. And uh, clearly that didn't turn out so well. Whatever that monster was. But like, look, this, this could have been us. Right? Maybe like very, very subtly, very just by a thread sustaining life? Question mark if you can consider this living. But maybe inside this person's mind, they're they're connected to some sort of arc that they think they're more alive in. Maybe when we interact with them or have talked with people that are hooked up to WoW in the past, we've broken them from such illusions. Uh-oh. There's totally a monster in here. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now it's gonna go that way. Where am I trying to go, is part of the question. We can head over here for the moment. Oh, I can't see anything. Looks like there's a little bit of a pathway this way. There's probably another monster over here. If I open this door, I can make it in here. Let's close that door though. Please. For some reason, the like icon would just appear and then disappear. Making all this noise. The next question is, is, is there anything here that I can use? It's a book. What about this screen? What about this? Alright, it's definitely getting close. And its cycle very well may take it through here, so we're gonna get away from the door. I can't see anything. I probably missed something on the left-hand side. What, can I not go through here? I'm hesitant to use my flashlight just because I'm sure it attracts the enemies, but at the same time, okay, clearly this door isn't opening anytime soon. We need to like turn on the power or something. Can we do that from here or do we have to do that from some other room? Can I interact with this PC? It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so we've probably got to go across the room to try to turn on the power or something, and then come back here. It doesn't sound like it's super close. At the moment. Listen to that. Oh, that was not the right button. I have no idea where it is right now. I wanted to just kind of peek. But I have no clue where it is right now. It's probably not super close. Given the statics, not too bad. Oh! It's a little bit closer than I would have liked. But it looks like it's walking in that direction. Oh, nope, it's turning around. It very well might have seen me. I wonder if this light that keeps intermittently flashing is working against me. Like it can actually see me when I'm lit up there. Alright, well in the meantime we can go through here, I guess. Is there anything in here? Alright, we're gonna close that real quick. Because this, unfortunately, is a dead end. How lovely. So I thought we might be able to explore something in here, but unfortunately we can't. Anything of relevance in here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, then we will hide for the moment. The static is intense. Interesting, the flashlight seems to struggle too. So we'll wait for the static to go by, and then once that static passes, we should be okay.
It sounds pretty darn close though, doesn't it? And I think these things can open doors, right? We've confirmed that in previous little sections like this. Okay. So it's still there, definitely. Can tell from all the static. I don't know if you guys have ever played the game Siren, but this is where an ability from that game would be super helpful. The game basically allows you to occasionally, if enemies are close enough, dip into their line of sight. One at a time, of course. And so you can kind of tell from the surroundings they're seeing where they are in their cycles and if they're able to see or not. Because this guy is clearly close, right? Given all the static, but at the same time, I don't know how close. Well, pretty close, actually, given how bad the static is. Ah, oh, crap. So this is not good. He's a little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Is he gonna walk in here, or is he just, like, opening the door to take a peek? I guess, in a way, he's actually kind of helping us. We have a better idea of where he is in his cycle if we can actually see the open door, see through the open door. Alright, we're gonna be very quiet. He's walking around that way. We're gonna want to go to the left. That green door is where we came in, I believe. So we're gonna walk out this way. I wonder if we can go down there. No, it doesn't seem like it. Not yet, at least. All right, but this green door is the only other area I can think of going into. And there's some static over here too, which is a little bit concerning. Makes me think there's another one on the other side. Oh, I don't like it. All right, we're gonna get this. I don't know if this is like a collectible again. I think it's something that heals us, which in the event Oh my god, it's literally going to walk through that door right now, isn't it? It totally is. We're hidden. We're completely hidden. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, so let's, let's stop and think for a moment. There's that desk I want to take a look at. See if there's anything interesting we can learn or interact with there. And then secondly, there's this door on our left that I want to go through as soon as it's safe. Right now, though, it's clearly not safe, is it? It seems to be walking away, though. There's still static. Where is it? There was a little, like, baseline static. Maybe there's something on our left as well. But I think we're good from the right. Can I interact with any of this? It doesn't seem like it. any of these documents, this computer, no. Alright, so then I think the intent is to be able to go through this. Alright, so we are in this vent now. Which is hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, safe. Certainly not a guarantee. Nice little saving slash loading screen. There's totally another one of these guys. One, another one of those guys in here somewhere. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Or maybe that's the door I was trying to get through before, but couldn't get to. There's totally going to be another one of those monsters in here. This switch over here looks pretty important. Is there anything over here? No, not relevant at least. Apologies if it's a little bit too dark for you guys. I'm trying not to use my flashlight too much just because I don't want to attract any unwanted attention. So there's this door here. You can hear one of those things. Probably on the other side of the door, honestly. Yeah, almost certainly on the other side of that door. Because with this degree of static, it has to be really close. But I don't see anything that close. Not above me, possibly below me, possibly, but probably not. Yep, and here it comes through there.
we haven't checked out that end all the way over there, nor have we walked through the door that this thing just came through. But I don't think there's going to be anything over there. So let's very, very quietly go through here while it's out here. We've got a minute. We're going to pick this up because in case it's some collectible, I don't want to miss any. Even though it's taking up time. And that monster is definitely going to be coming back towards us. So let's turn and get on our way. Um, except really quickly first, is there anything in here? I'm not sure. But clearly that monster is pretty close. So I think it's close enough that I don't really want to risk continuing onward. But given this light was here, I wanted to make sure... Oh, what? What? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely no. Get out of here. That's right, you better get out of here. Are you kidding me? I can't even believe we survived that, honestly. But now it's walking the direction we want to walk. So that's going to complicate things a little bit. Let's see if we can get a better view. Oh, maybe it actually turned around and is walking back towards that door. I don't really know, to be honest. The static seems to be lessening. So I think we're okay. I think so. What is that sound distortion? All right. Oh my goodness, light. What does this do? A vent we can crawl into? Uh-oh. Is there anything over here, though? What about over this way? Oh, wait, haven't I been here before? Oh, that was not good. I, I think it saw me. So we're just gonna hide here and hope for the best. But the real question is, if we're doing laps around this place, what are we looking for and what did we not find that we were supposed to find, right? Because I think I'm being fairly thorough. Hmm. Just trying to listen to see how close it is. It's clearly close. But not like extremely close, given the static, right? So I think the next step is going through this vent here. And seeing where it takes us. To be fair, I'm not even really sure what our main objective is right here. Like, where are we trying to go? We're obviously trying to survive, which is a pretty big main objective. But we have to have some sort of goal. What are we aiming for? We're trying to manually climb or take the elevator down, I think, to find the Ark in Omicron. I think that was the intent. What the heck? Yikes. So given all the static, there's some sort of monster in there. Something. But the sounds are different from the previous one, aren't they? Which worries me. What is going on here? It's so dark. I can't see anything, but there's so much static. 
Is there a monster in here? I don't know. We're just gonna go for the door. We're just gonna go for it. Okay. So there is certainly a monster in here. And I don't know where. Do you hear that? Oh, no. It's right there. So we are majorly screwed. Run, get up there, get up there, Simon. Climb, 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 climb. Get in the vent, get in the vent. Oh my god. Whew. We were literally standing right next to the door it walked through. Not a good strategy, guys. I'm trying to listen to like the sort of distorted audio here. But I'm not getting much from it. So it came through here. It's over there right now. And it's continuing along that path. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. So we'll keep on chilling. We can get a better view from over here to see where it's going. Where did it go? It, did it go through that door? It must have. Oh, and it's back through that door. Which is very not good. Which way are you gonna go? Because we're gonna do that little dance around like the table, you know? Where it's like, you go one direction to get me, I'm just gonna go around the other. And we, uh, we can play that game. Or, no, you don't want to play that game at all. Instead, you're just gonna turn around and go through exactly where I need to go. Lovely. We love to see it. We love to see it. How the heck am I supposed to get through there then? Okay. He's probably gonna turn around soon. That's probably a door we need to get through. This is one that's locked and very not helpful right now. Oh, it's going through there. Okay. Is it turning around or is it turning left? It's turning around. Lovely. Alright, we are going to stay super still right here. Like, super still. You guys have no idea how still we're about to be. Not very still, apparently. Sneaking behind it. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay. Don't come back. Is this something I can interact with? Nope. Okay. We can't go through that door there. I still see static, which is not reassuring. But this has got to be something useful here. Right? Like, the whole point was to get over here. What the heck? I'm tempted to think it's where this flashing light is. Can I not do anything with this? What the heck? It looks like I should. Darn it. Alright, first things first, survival. We probably made, like, a crap ton of noise with that. And we're gonna have to mess around with one of those, like, pull and twist little mechanisms again, which... Did not go very well last time. Where did it go? It's still in this room, right? But I don't see it. Which I don't like. I like knowing where it is. It seems like it left, though. Maybe this static is primarily from, uh, below me. Alright. 
So we'll pull it out and then twist. Maybe we just need to do this a bunch. To like manually charge it or something. So we did something, clearly. I don't know what though is the problem. It's not unlocking that door. There was that red door out in that hallway area. Maybe that's where I need to go now? The one where it's stand it's already walking to itself? Yep. Ah shoot, did we just make noise? I think we did, technically. Alright, so we'll wait patiently here. It's gonna come over this way. Because of course it is. So we'll chill over in this direction. Wait to see if it's going to come all the way over here. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be advancing that far in this direction if it's coming over here at all. But it seems to be nearby. Yep. Let's see, is it going to keep advancing or is it going to turn around? It's going to turn around. Alright, well at least we can keep an eye on it from this corner here. Is it going to go straight? It is. Alright. I just want to be able to peek and at least take a look to see if this door is unlocked now. It is. Okay. So that at least reassures me that this is probably where we're supposed to go. Security door unlocked. We're gonna lock that and run while we can, buy ourselves some time, and holy cow. What the heck is going on here? We are very much underwater, under some very dirty water. Let's climb on out and take a look. My, uh, my first priority was getting away from those things. But what is this place? Clearly this water's been tainted with something. Hopefully we're safe for a moment. Can kind of assess the situation. So it looks like there's another ladder on the other side that we could use to climb up there. There's one of those things to heal on that side. And I think we came in from there. So maybe the goal is to get over there? Hmm. We can get around this way on this platform. Or not, I guess. Just fell through. Great. Can I jump up here? No? Not gonna not gonna let me do that game. Great. So I think the game is gonna make me essentially have to fall again and then re-climb up the ladder. Can I climb up the ladder from this side? Or is it not gonna let me? I don't think it's gonna let me. Ah okay. And now we wait to climb again. That's a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world, I guess. So that's the platform we were just on. Yeah, and it looks like there's this little path around the back that allows us to go up a little bit. So let's try this again. We are on the, the platform now, correct? Yes. Alright. It's not going to let us climb there. So we'll walk across. I don't know what's down there. But we can not climb up there, no. Wow, I did not expect to be doing much platforming in Soma, that's for sure. Alright, and that area is blocked off. So what was the purpose of this, then? I think it's so that we can jump over this way. Alright, some fall damage, but we're living. And then, from here, can I get across over there? Eh, I don't 
think so. Yeah, I'm not exactly optimistic, but at this point I don't think we really have much of a shot otherwise. We can move that, which is potentially very helpful. Surprised there's not a monster in the water, honestly. I think this is where we are supposed to go. I'm going to get this just out of my sight. Um, now that we're damaged, though, I kind of want to go and get that... I think it's called Data Buffer? Yeah. Oh, I can't do a running jump to get on there. That's going to be kind of annoying. Yeah. Alright, so we'll climb up this ladder, I think. At least I can run underwater. Can I climb up any of these? No? So is there really only one ladder for me to climb up? Yeah, there's this one which is kind of immediately available to us. And I think that's it. Unless I'm missing something. But I guess we are being somewhat thorough now, right? Checking all the other options. I was immediately frantic. Oh, we can climb up this one. But yeah, at first I was more so just frantic than anything. I want to be able to, you know, do some platforming to get over there, but I don't think it's going to happen. And just to be extra sure, yeah, that platform doesn't extend below, or this ladder doesn't extend below this platform here. So it is going to be tough to get up there. But now that I already have fall damage, am I going to die the next time I try to do that? That does complicate things a little bit. Granted, I'm sure this is an auto save area. Alright, well, what? Seriously? Uh, whose idea was to put platforming in Soma? Alright, well, we don't even need to do any jumping to get up there. Because we can just get up there like this, I think. Or not. Can we not? Can I jump on this platform? This pipe here? And use that to, to get up onto this one? Nope. Alright. Okay, then. Have it your way, game. I'll go up this ladder and try to platform around. Because I want to heal up from that data buffer. And I also just don't want to miss one that's so obvious. It's very possible that we end up there, you know, via going through there. Maybe, like, we come out the other side there. That's all I can think of, though, to be honest. Oh, uh, man. They're really going to make me go through that whole process again. I'm going to try this jump one more time. I'm torn between going for the platform or going for that little, I don't know, like, stub of iron coming out of the ground there. Maybe that's what I'll try for this time. Alright, we'll take the long way then. Hopefully we don't die from fall damage along the way. And hopefully that data buffer over on the other side is just something we can get after going through this little tunnel we sort of unlocked. At the top here, I did think that we were able to activate the like climb symbol here at some point, weren't we? I think I was. Yeah, I mean, you saw it there. Ooh, look at that. Fancy schmancy. Is this a shortcut of some sort? Or a secret? I don't know. But it's all fuzzy. I can't see. <laughs> what the heck, game? Okay. So we didn't even make it up much higher anyways. Oh, but I can potentially get this ladder too? Yes. I don't think that's intentional, but we'll take it for now. 
My flashlight is doing nothing for me. I can't tell where I'm climbing in the slightest. What the heck? Was it just like a dead-end ladder? I guess so. So we climbed up really high just for the sake of falling. Lovely. Here I am thinking, oh man, we found this like secret passage or maybe we're like sequence breaking here and nope, just climbing up to fall down. All right, we'll go through that little platforming segment so that we can get back to the tunnel that we unlocked and then see what we can do from there. I hear you, game. I hear you. Hope I don't die on the way, though. From fall damage. This definitely seems like we are struggling. All right. Into the tunnel we go. And yeah, look at that. You can see the limp in our walk and how slowly we're moving. This is me trying to run now. I don't see any static at the moment, which is nice. Can we go this way? Probably not. Nope. We are headed over in this direction. Alright, a data buffer. Heal me up. Uh. This also makes me think that we just missed that one over there. So I don't know how we're supposed to get over there. Probably look it up some other time if it's really that important. But otherwise, whew, not all shaken up on the screen again. We've got this lever we can pull. Emergency flush. Before releasing the flood lock. Uh-oh. Alright, well, um... I guess we unlock this area. Oh my goodness. That caught me by surprise. Where are we going? What direction? Are there monsters going to be swimming with us? I have no idea what's going on. I mean, neither does Simon, right? We're clearly getting flushed through some tunnel system. The real question is, where are we going to emerge? Well, oh yikes, somebody clearly has been through the same process and didn't meet quite as good a fate. What happened? What did she do? Come on, we gotta get her out of there. Holy shit, Hart blew up VO2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel. She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Ah oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, it's bad. Real bad. Oh, fuck. No. Yikes. So somebody essentially gave their life during the process of trying to seal off all the tunnels to prevent Acres from getting to Omicron, which means we're pretty close to Omicron. And I think we'll say that uh, we'll explore the rest of the sea and hopefully get to Omicron in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. There were definitely some really tense moments as we tried to avoid the monsters and escape from that area. And now we have some freedom, some flexibility. And we're hopefully going to make some progress. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.